Hi guys and welcome to my messy apartment. No, I was just kidding, I'm not gonna even try and do the radio host voice. Even though I did have some voice acting experience in my past. I'm going to stick to the topic of this video, which is how tabletop RPGs saved my life. Well, it's not that they did, it's an exaggeration, but that's how I feel about it. Now, I started playing tabletop RPGs some 20 years ago, even more, and it was like a revelation. I could transfer myself to another reality, be somebody else, uh, wrap my head around creating another character, an alter ego. I did have a long break within those 20 years, because I simply couldn't find a good company to play with. A party of guys who would just, you know, come and have fun without arguing with the DM, without arguing between each other, coming and going, leaving the sessions and getting back in and things like that. I finally found a good company to play with. Some uh, year ago I was introduced to a game of Pathfinder by a good friend of mine who is also a very good DM. He told me, would you like to play uh, pre-made campaign, yeah, what the hell, why not, go for it and, and play the game. We started playing this um, Rise of the Room Lords campaign last March. Whoever's playing Pathfinder is very well acquainted with the Rise of the Room Lords, it's one of the main campaigns. Prior to that, I started my own firm, my own company. It started in November 2016 and we finally opened it up, uh, registered and everything in uh, May of 2017 and we started off good, we had enough money to invest, we built a good community but somewhere in that timeline something went wrong. It was the question of whether we're going to make it or not. We are on the verge of owing money to the state and it came really stressful to me because I never owed any won any money, especially not the state who was gonna sue me if I just think something wrong, let alone, you know, not pay my taxes. So what happened is that I fell into a state of depression, not the depression that you end up in a hospital for, but uh, a state of highly functioning depression which most of the entrepreneurs suffer from, which is the state of feeling down all the time but using the most of your willpower to stay focused, creative and do your daily routines. And what kept me going during that summer of 2017 were those role-playing sessions that I've had with my friends. Once, twice a week, three, four, five hours, depends. Finally, I got out of it. All thanks to having a different reality to go to when I needed. And that's the beauty of the role-playing games. Now, a few days ago, my business partner's son ended up in a hospital because he had a bronchitis attack. He was breathing heavily, having a lot of uh, mucus inside his lungs, inside his bronchi. The deal is that they did not allow her to see him for the weekend because there was no trace, no evidence of her having a vaccine against the smallpox, which is currently in an epidemic state. The day she found that out, she broke down twice. She was in tears one time when we were speaking over the phone the other time when she came to pick me up with a car to go for a coffee and talk about that situation. There was nothing that I could say to her to rectify that, to, to make this, the whole situation better. Good thing is that I introduced her to the game of Pathfinder, to tabletop RPGs some few months ago. Last weekend we had a session, the session where I'm the DM and everybody's having so much fun because I'm so good. She texted me after the session finally and told me that she felt guilty because she enjoyed that much during the session and her kid was in the hospital and I told her, you know what, there is nothing that you should be guilty for. You went into a, another reality at that point of time because you needed that other reality to keep you sane. And finally everything came out good. Her son came out of the hospital a few days later and uh, even though they did not allow her to see him for, I don't know, a few days, 
the nurses and the doctors and the other mothers that were allowed to see their children in the room that he was in uh, told her that uh, he was really good and obedient, uh, everything that a two-year-old kid should not be. <laughs> and finally she realized how I felt during the summer for those two or three months that my depressive state lasted. Now it was hard for me, and not just for me, to the other people surrounding me, mostly my girlfriend and my business partner, because they're two of the people that I spend most of my time with. The point of this whole story is it doesn't have to be tabletop RPGs, it could be something else. A friend of mine is reading comic books for the same reason, another friend of mine is uh, drawing. The point is that you need to find a different reality, something where you can lose yourself, get out of your shell, be in a different state of mind, be in a different flow, where you will be free of your daily stress, everything that day-to-day -day life holds. Now, I hope that I helped somebody by sharing this story with you, and if you like what I said, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're new to this channel. There are links down below to my Instagram and Facebook accounts, and you could go there and uh, follow or like or whatever. And until next time, take care.